All right, in this video for integration, we want to talk about what happens if you have a coefficient. Well, if we think about it, when we're taking derivatives, coefficients just come along for the ride. So the same is true here. What that means is that for this problem, the 2 is just going to hang out while I do the power rule on the x to the first. So the 2 is just going to chill out, but the x to the first is going to be add a 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and then divide. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is you can see I'm hesitating writing a plus c. So typically what I do is I don't write a plus c until I've cleaned up my answer, because that way I know that I'm done. Here the 2s will cancel, so my final answer would be x squared plus c. Okay, let's try another one. Here I have the integral of 4x to the 5th. So that 4 is a coefficient, it's just going to chill for a minute. I'm going to do the power rule, so add a 1 and then divide. So adding a 1 makes it a 6 dividing by 6. Okay, again, I'm not going to put plus c yet because I'm going to reduce the 4 and the 6. And the 4 and the 6 will reduce to a 2. Now you could either write it 2 thirds x to the 6 or some students like writing it 2 x to the 6 over 3. Both of those work. And then of course our plus c. Okay. Alright, now this one's a pretty tricky one. This one's the integral of 1 over 2 x squared. Okay, so what I want to do is um, whenever I have an x in the denominator, I want to bring it up. That exponent of 2, when I bring it up, will be a negative exponent. But this 2 out front is actually acting like a coefficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just an extra step real quick. And I'm going to bump that 2 and the 1 out front to be a 1 half. And then leave my 1 over x squared. Okay, so this is the same thing as this. So basically it's the opposite of my squish. I'm unsquishing, if I can make up that word. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one half x to the negative two. Now you may be realizing, wow, Jen, you keep rewriting all these integral symbols. Why do you keep rewriting all these integral symbols? Because I haven't taken an antiderivative yet. So that's my way of telling who's ever looking at my work that, hey, I haven't done the add a one and then divide thing. Okay, once that symbol is gone, I now am doing the add a 1 and then divide. So here if I add a 1, so x to the negative 2 plus 1, and then that negative 2 plus 1 is what I'm dividing by. Okay, well negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and this is negative 1. So this will be 1 half x to the negative 1 over negative 1, or that negative 1 will make a negative a half, and x to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over x. If you want to squish these together, you totally could. We could call this negative 1 over 2x, and then, of course, plus c. Okay. All right. Good luck with those coefficient problems.